In the last video, we verified that the align integral would evaluate to this expression. So in order to verify Stokes' theorem, we're going to try to get the same answer, this time using a double integral. And then we're going to integrate along this circular surface lying on the xy, on the xy plane bounded by the path c. So what we're going to do now is to evaluate this double integral. And then along the surface, we're going to evaluate the curl of the vector field. And then we're going to dot, uh, dot the curl with a tiny piece of the surface. So first of all, dA, don't forget that this is actually a vector. It will have a magnitude that is equal to a tiny piece of the surface. And then it will be pointing in a direction that is perpendicular to the surface. And it will be the direction will be decided by the right-hand rule. So for this case, you can imagine curling your fingers in this direction. You can see that your thumb will, be, will point uh, outside of the page, so it will be pointing in the k direction. And so as dictated by the right-hand rule, this dA will be pointing in the k direction. So that would be dA. And then for the curl, we're going to have to evaluate this using the curl formula. So we just follow through this rather standard procedure. So we have these operators for the second row, and for the third row we have a, y, p, x, and 0. So first of all, in the i direction, you're differentiating 0, so that's 0. You differentiate x with z, so that's just 0. So we have 0i. So for the j direction, you're differentiating 0 again, and then you're differentiating y with z, so you get 0j. And then for the k direction, you're differentiating bx with respect to x, so you get b. And then you're differentiating ay with respect to y, so you have minus a. And then you have k, so this is in the k direction. So in the end, you see that the curl is equal to b minus a in the k direction. So what that means now is that our double integral, which is equal to the curl dot a tiny piece of the surface. So now a double integral, and then as we found just now, the curl is equal to some constant in the k direction. And then dA, don't forget, this is a vector. So now I'm going to turn this into a scalar. So let's say the magnitude of dA, let's just use a small a to represent that. And then it will be pointing in also in the k direction. And then don't forget, this is going to be a dot product. So in the end, you have the k unit vector dot with the k unit vector. And then these two vectors are identical. They're both unit vectors, so you just get one. And of course, b minus a is just a constant, so I can just pull this out. So in the end, your double integral, uh, your double integral will turn into this constant, b minus a, multiplied by the double integral over this entire surface. So what you're doing literally is cutting up the surface and then adding up the tiny pieces back together. So this entire integral over here, by definition, is just going to be equal to the area of this, uh, of this region, this circular region that we're integrating across. So in the end, we have b minus a multiplied by the area of the circle, which is just pi r squared. So pi r squared. So you see that we get the exact same answer as we did before. And so this is further verification of the Stokes theorem. So using the line integral, we got this answer. And then using the double integral, we got the exact same answer.